then, so, I'm back! God, I was ill! I was like, really ill! And that's why there has been no, no custom works at all for a few weeks. My apologies, but literally I was bedridden with some sort of intestinal infection, which was hell on earth. But I'm back for this Christmas not so special. In this episode, you're gonna see lots of different facial hair. Also, you're gonna see, you know, just, just average bits from the show, you know what I mean? And at the end, I'll be ending with, oh yes, a musical number, an actual musical number. Me playing the guitar, I can't play guitar, I've not even got a guitar, it's a bass. So you know what I mean? You can point and laugh. Anyway, let's get to it. Here are some of, you know, well, just some bits of custom works. Enjoy! Let's get to the workshop. Let's get to the workshop. This time on Custom Work, we've got some Bondo tech. We've got updates on the A40, on the non-standard, and on the meat wagon. Let's get to the workshop now. This time on Custom Works, I'm stuck in the meat wagon. This time on Custom Works, I'm in Andy Saunders' car. Let's get to the workshop or the sh whatever. Let's get to the workshop. Right then. on custom works I attempt to open a paint can <laughs> Jesus H <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no. well and finally I'm in, I'm into the can now so I can uh, I'll put some in there small garage seat as well. This is like revolutionising my life. I don't have to ruin my knees anymore. Um, so I'm going to make that look all rusty. We're 15 minutes away from lunch now just to just to try and add some real gravity to this situation. And jeopardy. Jeopardy. Will he make lunch? I don't know if I'm going to make lunch. We're going to get all that. Yeah, if we don't get this done, we're going to lose the shop. Jesus Christ, help me! So let's take it for an MOT and see if it passes. Okay, so we're at the custom car photo shoot. Uh, WTF1 is uh, all finished, looking good, and uh, against this nice backdrop. So um, let's hope these pics come out good. Okay, so on the photo shoot, it's Simon the photographer doing his thing there. Yeah. <laughs> There's Simon in the bush getting the best shots that uh, we can possibly get. There. If you're not in a bush, you're really not trying. It's a laying on the floor move. You've got to get this. You've got to get down. Get that low three quarter. Welcome to Custom Works. This is a big day. We're starting another enormous project. This one is going to be awesome. And we are basing it on 
I don't think it's going to be any surprise, but it's going to be based on this taxi. So what are we going to do to this taxi? What we're going to do, a little bit like last time, we're going to put the F100 front on this taxi. And it's going to have the, the cab as well. And you're thinking, well, you've already done that. Well, I've not done this. We're going to make it into like a Luton style, you know, like, a, like an Airstream caravan. It's going to be like an Airstream caravan on the back. And it's going to be high. It's going to come all the way back. We're going to extend the chassis back to here. It's going to be huge. All of this is going to look like an Airstream caravan. Everything on the front is going to look like the WTF 100, except we're going to have like some rust and patina up there. And all the back of this is going to look like polished aluminium. It's going to have a cool art deco rear. In fact, you know what? It's going to look like this. Okay then, so let's strip the taxi down. have asked how come they've all got dually wheels and a taxi doesn't have a dually back axle well I'm going to show you right now it's really easy and this is how you do it so first taxi wheel take all the nuts off and then roll up another taxi wheel And you can see these got like crazy offsets. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna get away with this on many cars. But these got like a van offset, uh, horrible wheel really, but they are great for doing this. And then, put that on there. Make sure the inside is over the middle so it, um, it locks into the wheel center bore. And that's it. Now the centre board don't come right out, but if you just, you know, they line up pretty good and the, uh, the nuts position it. But there you go, you've got jewelry wheels. Obviously, if I was actually going to drive it now, I'd put all the nuts on, but just for the purposes of this video, bum bum, jewelry wheels, done. So we've done that, and now what we're going to do, we're going to cover all of this in contact adhesive we've cut our piece of stainless and then we're just going to bring it in here and well we'll paint the back of that as well in it and we're just going to stick it in and it's going to be brilliant that's what's going to happen i'm sure we're not going to be messing about with stuff and everything goes wrong this is going to work things go that went pretty good this time on custom works the meat wagon is out on the cgi road
pretty much nothing went wrong. I'm worried about saying that, like I'm going to jinx the pass, but I don't think that's possible. But it does seem like, yeah, this went pretty well. OK, and this time on Custom Works, we're going to see if that cool 60s motorbike fits on the back of the 60s truck. You know what? If it doesn't fit, we'll lose the shop. But if it does fit, it'll be a massive victory. It goes in there, it's just as we'd imagined it. Like, I just can't believe it. I'm over the moon. This is up to this point, this is a win. Okay, so that's about all for this week. I just want to say a massive thank you for all the get well wishes, all the birthday wishes. It was my birthday as well, and I was ill in bed, and you all really, really sort of like cheered me up quite a lot. So thanks to everyone who sent me messages over that time. Thanks for everyone who's viewed and watched over the past, you know, couple of years. It's been great, and I've really missed it, but we will be back in January with Custom Works, and we've got some amazing stuff coming up for in the future. At this point, I'd have a montage of all those things, but it's not happened yet because this is real life. Anyway, thank you very much. Happy Christmas, happy holidays, or whatever you celebrate. Hope you have a great, great time. I'll see you in January. And now, to finish with a special festive treat, and believe me, I cannot play guitar at all, but, Last night I sat and watched YouTube for a couple of hours and learned how to do it. Just to prove that if you watch enough YouTube, you will pick up great things. So, let's rock. Good night!